press on, assemble forth, legion about, amble around, sound off, pursue happiness, and exercise your Fourth Amendment right not to be in your person. We got gang activity ahead. It's hard to see what's going on from here, but um, about a half an hour ago, they were checking on a guy standing right here. I don't know if this has anything to do with that, or I can kind of see a car in front of them. So this might be a, a traffic stop of some sort, but looks like it's uh, Georgetown PD. One of the officers is walking away towards the store. Or actually, he's getting into a personal vehicle. Maybe he wasn't an officer. Maybe he was a security guard. I don't know. I'm going to see if I can get eyes on him. We're definitely writing a ticket. I want to see what this car is. Because this is where... Uh, I don't know if that was an officer or not. I don't think it was. But I'll go around this way so that I don't get in um, in front of them. But there's nobody in the car. So I'm thinking they must have arrested somebody. I missed that part. But um, this looks like a, uh, a private automobile. It doesn't look like a motor vehicle to me. I've been wrong before, of course, but I was given bad information every time. So you never know. I'll try and um, see if there's somebody in one of these cars here. The, uh, this vehicle looks empty. Oh, there is somebody sitting in that car under arrest. Could be drunk driving. It's hard to say. But I'm on a public sidewalk now. So I don't know. Try and ear hustle a little bit. That officer looks somewhat familiar, but but I can't place him. I don't think I've ever gotten his name before. But he must be the arresting officer. It looks like he's about to leave with the um, with one of the people. Absconding with them and gonna take him to the local concentration camp. I doubt that there was a victim here at all. Of course, the state will claim that they're the victim, as if, as if the state can be harmed, being fictional and all, only existing on paper. Of course, these officers are creating a huge scene at Circle K. 
and um, doing their best to show off their supposed authority and typical gang tactics. So this officer is doing a search of the vehicle, inventorying. I don't think I've ever met him, but maybe uh, today will be the day. We shall see. It almost looks like something's going on over here too. I'm not for sure, but maybe not. Maybe it was just the lights reflecting way over there. Okay. I thought I saw emergency uh, lights over there too, but apparently not. So we'll stick with this one and see if this officer will talk to me while he's waiting for the tow truck. As soon as he finishes with his um, Oh, so there's an open container. He's shining his flashlight on it right now. Looks like wine. Could be vodka or gin or something, I don't know. But it's definitely an open container of alcohol. And he's taking a picture of it with his personal phone. That's not too bright. Now that can be foiled. Pretty sure this officer doesn't even have gloves on. Next time I see him, I'll, I'll confirm that for sure, but I don't think he does. He's touching all the uh, supposed evidence with his bare hands. Yeah, he doesn't have gloves on. That's not proper protocol. So he's doing a detailed search. He put the alcohol back in the car though. I don't know why he would do that. But who knows why these terrorists slash gang members slash traitors do anything that they do, really. I mean, that's the $64,000 question. 
Why do they do it? One can only guess. Back into the trunk now. Now he's opening up some sort of case. Back into the case again. He just, he must have attention deficit disorder or something. He can't seem to stay with the task. Okay, leave the trunk open. Back to the front. Once again. This is like watching the Three Stooges all rolled up into one. Oh, he's taking more pictures of something that he found in the uh, door compartment. He's holding, oh, it's medicine. And he's, in, he's taking pictures of it with his personal phone. Once again, that's not too bright. Because that opens up his personal phone to... Um, to being FOIA'd, freedom of information. So the tow truck driver is here now. A, excellence, towing and recovery. Back to the trunk again. Just can't make up his mind where he wants to search. Yeah, yeah, press on. Part two of Attention Deficit Disorder, Georgetown PD. Can't seem to decide where he wants to search. Starting to rain a little bit. Of course, I don't get rained on. It's never been any other way.
Officer, can I get your name? I'm Officer Gomez, Georgia Police Department. Gomez, yeah, yeah. And your badge number? It's 102. 102, yeah, yeah. Can I ask what you uh, what he was arrested for? I, I can't give you that information, but... It's public. He, he was arrested? Well, then you have to look it up, sir. I mean, you could tell me, though. You don't have to, but you could. Was it drunk driving? He's, he's still doing the investigation. The other officer's doing the arrest. I'm only here as a supporting. So what I'm doing is, I'm because he was arrested, I'm, I'm inventorying the vehicle and having it towed. I see. So is that your personal phone that you were using? No, sir. That is the... Oh, a department phone? phone? Yes, sir. We all get issued a, a phone. We turn it back in at the end of the shift. All so right. I take, I take pictures on it. I download it when I get back, and the phone stays at the department. All right. Well, it's raining now, so I'm going to get out of here. All right, no problem. Thank you, you Officer ahead. Gomez. Master by the name of Bates. Smoking more than all 50 states. Combined, yeah, right, I gotta stay on the grind. I got no money, so my weed's on my mind. I hit the club, but you know I can't dance. Seven and seven in my cutoff chance. Had a shirt in my long ass hair. What well, part of how I look makes you think I care?